Yeah, but where I, where I really give you the credit, because, he, I mean, Mark Pitts was up at um, Jive at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got Usher. Um, yeah, he got Chris Brown. So at the time, it's me, it's me with Payne. Got, there you and, go. And Mark got Chris Brown. So I'm like, he got Chris Brown. Yeah. He got Usher. He got, and, and 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 the dude who built that building, who put who put who put bricks in that building, is Robert Kelly at the time. Not the, yes. not today's Rob Kelly. Yeah, but exactly, back exactly, in the exactly. The now, one I was a huge. That's you, when, I, when I was a huge fan of R. Kelly. So T. Payne's feel gave me a new futuristic R. Kelly vibe. And that's how I, that's what, that's what made me go to him. But, but to, to, to the, to the point I'm trying to get out, because if you look at all of those dudes, um, Usher, Chris Brown and Chris Brown, that that's him in, in, in the early, early days. Yes. Um, R. Kelly, they look like leading men. They yeah. look like, you know, solo it. Seeing mm. the T-Pain, T-Pain don't, necessarily look like it's a bill. at that time exactly. exactly so for you to take a, a a chance on this dude based on the music i yeah. gotta give you the credit because that's what a and r is about it, exactly. it, it's about can this dude produce hits can exactly. they write the records can they sing can they evoke emotions out of you and i, I don't watch the industry um you know, they, they chase all of the things that are not important. You know, the, the, the look. The popularity. Um, the popularity. How many yeah. likes? This, that, and the third. And music is always last on the list. That's so I, I, I love the fact that, you know, based off the music, you gave that man a deal. That's dope. Yes, yes, yes. And that's how, and that's, and, and from there, I got my, like I said, I got my label, Hits Committee. And so you got you got hits committee from the success of T-Pain. Success of T-Pain, I got my label, my first label, hits committee. And I was, okay. like, think, I was trying to think of a name and all this stuff. And that, you know, came up with everybody was calling me hits already. So I was like, you know what? Hits committee, because I got a committee of people that I play stuff for, you know. So speaking of that, I, I never I should have asked you this earlier. Obviously, you're from Memphis. Where the mm -hmm. where the name, who gave you the name Memph Hits? Uh New York. New York. When I when I was living in New York, I was like, uh, everybody was just calling me. Some most some people called me Memphis. Some people called me Tennessee. Some people start calling me Hits. They was like, oh, you got the Hits, huh? You all right, Hits? All right, Hits. So I was like, yeah. I just was hearing it. Some people would be like, Memph. Then somebody would be like, Hits. And I'm like, Memph Hits, Memph Hits. So I wrote it on a piece of paper. <laughs> I wrote it on a piece of paper. I was like, yo, if I just my city is Memphis. If I take away this S, put this T and this Z, it's Memph Hits. And that's how my name came. I wrote it on a piece of paper from, but I was hearing it from in the office, just from different people calling me Memphis. And then simultaneously, I heard somebody call me Hits in Memphis. Hey, Hits, Memph, Hits. I was like, dang, that's my name. And that's why I wrote it on a sheet of paper. It read correctly. And then I took the Memph off the Hits, kept Hits and put the committee. And Memph Hits has Hits committee. And that's where it came from. Got you. Okay. Who's your favorite artist signed the Hits committee? My first artist to hits committee was Huey, pop lock and drop it. You know, Huey. I forgot all about Huey. Yes, rest in peace, my brother gone. I man. forgot all about yeah. Huey. Yes, Huey. Huey was right after. Huey was my first artist on hits committee, and uh, it, we we just kept we just kept it. the hits. It was like coming from T Pain. It was already coming from Young Bloods, and was already coming from uh, Jay Quan. Then it started with T Pain, and all of a sudden here comes Huey. So it just kept going. It was just. It was just like a hit of thon. Like it just was, it, and I was just really like stuff vibes that I was getting. Or I would go to a city and I would see a record come on. And I see the whole club go crazy for it. And I'm like, I'm going back with this. And even when nobody in New York could see what I saw, they just believed that I saw it. I'm like, I, I'm telling you, this came on, and the whole place knew the words. And they dropping, and they was doing something. I was like, I was like, I'm telling you, this this right here. And it came out, and it did just that to the rest of the world as well. Yeah. Done deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you got Huey. Who'd you follow Huey up with? After Huey, uh, it was after Huey was this guy Trady from Dallas. Trady was uh had this record called Gutter Bitch. It didn't really go as big as uh pop lock and drop and things like that. It was just things with the label, you know, things with the label. But Trady, that's still my partner. He's still out here, he's still doing music. Uh shout out to Trady. Uh he had uh, that's my gutter bitch and uh uh popular. 
Uh, he even got me in the song one time. He said, "Man, been feeling himself since he got married to Toya and all that." So I was like, "What the heck?" So, but but he, that that he was next, and then right after him was K Michelle, K Michelle from K Michelle from Memphis, yeah, which ended up being my notorious one of my notorious relationships. That I don't know. Okay, um, we we got to dive deep into that if you if you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is well known. It's well documented. Um, yeah, but. You know, I, I've seen a lot from K. Michelle's side, mm -hmm. her perspective on the relationship. I, I only really saw you on defense, you know, yeah. never really given your your true perspective um, on that same relationship. So mm -hmm. let, let's start from the business side before it got personal. Where did you meet K. Michelle? I met her at the office at um at 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 uh sony we were already we had our job had already moved over to rca so we were in the new sony building and that's where we i met her i was walking through the office doing something and she was actually in wayne williams office uh with, okay. with her attorney erica wright she was in, the, in, in his office and when i walked past the office she just saw me and she was like hey i, well, I went in the office and i was speaking to Wayne and while I was in there Kay was looking at me I looked at her I was like hey, you know, how you doing he was telling me about she's an artist here and try, well she was an artist trying to get on and I was like cool and then she got up and she was like let me talk to you right quick so I was like all right so she took me in off she's like I'm about to sing for you I was like all right come on come on come oh, did, did, did she know who you was at the time she, yeah she told me she knew who I was she's like ain't you the, okay. um, like ain't you the ain't you the dude from Memphis you from my city I was like yeah I'm from Memphis she's like you you came here and you 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 put out this you put out that she's like I know who you are I was like okay cool and she's like you about to listen to me sing right now and I was like let's go so she grabs my arm I take her to the conference room and we're in the conference room and she starts singing I was like whoa so I was like I had never heard no nothing this good in my life I was like yo you want some what is going on you can sing sing you can sing like she's like I told you she's like I was like, I'm about to, I was like, what you doing in there with Wayne? Like, you, she was like, I'm just at a meeting with, she talking about somebody else. I was like, well, I'm about to slide you then. She, I, was like, I was like, you ain't leaving. She, she's like, all right. She's like, let's talk, let's go in there. I'm telling them, I'm like, Wayne, you, can I, can I sign her? You know, can I, you, is this free? You know, he's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I, I just met her. He's like, you like her like that? I was like, yes. So I signed her to the hits committee. I signed her to the hits committee and we just, that's when it started. And we was like, it was like, it was gold and I was loving it. Okay. Loving it. So everything going smooth. He was the first lady. Yeah, first lady of Hits Committee was Kate Michelle. At, at what point did it get personal between you two? Uh, it, um, it got personal after we fucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 How long no, no, were y'all no, no. doing business before? I can, I can say that better than that. No, basically, it was just like a. It was a tension building up through the you know through that over time it was like a um i was doing so many things at the time i was i was on tv i was doing the deal i was uh, on bt and I, then i was i leave bt and i was kind of going back to the office working so i never really had time for nothing like that so i was like you know i was on my prime time type stuff i was playing two sports so uh she just used to be like i was taking her to events and i was introducing her as the first lady i'm like y'all this is my little sister you know this little sister k michelle first lady of hits committee and she kind of got tired of that intro and she was like i don't like that intro when you be introducing me as your little sister and first lady and all that she was like we need to be together she was like you see what jv and beyonce doing out here she was like if we if we put if we do this together we can we can we can be big big she was like stop stop telling stop telling people that like and i was like you are my little sister like i would never do that what what are you saying and she's like start that's when the sexual thing started coming up and you know and i was like i i, I think i just i just lacked guidance on that one because i, I should have asked some people so you, you know well people did tell me don't do that they, like that's your artist that is forbidden and i think the word forbidden kind of hit me like i was like forbidden i'm like I'm thinking of, I'm I, my ego is jumping. I'm like, man, I, I made all this money. I done done this. I done done that. Niggas trying to tell me who my girlfriend can't be. It's like, don't do that one, bro. You got you get nigga. Do you know you, you always got a different girl around? Why would you do that? Like that's that's your money. Like don't do that. I was like, yeah. So anyway, one day I just was like, she was like, yo, come up to we had some kind of success we had had, and she said, come up to my room and let's just have some drinks and stuff. And I'm in the, we in a truck full of people at the company, and they was like. You're not going up to, the, to her room with her to have drinks, are you? I was like, I'm just going to have one drink. <laughs> Man, y'all relax. So I go up to the room. Never came back. I never came back from the room. It was it was good advice they was giving me. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. 
truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.